Right, that's you lot sorted out. I'm a bit late getting started today. Um, I was late anyway, and just as I was about to come out and do all my farm livestock stuff, Dave the Builder turned up. So, so we ended up having two cups of coffee and a discussion about uh, our little project that we've got to do here, possibly, possibly next year. We'll definitely get, get it started next year. Basically, we've got a, a building going up here, which is, um, we're calling it the garden room. But uh, it's like 10 by eight meters. It's quite a, quite a large building going up there. And, you know, how we're gonna go about building it and what we're gonna use it for and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, lots of ideas flying around. So, so yeah, interesting stuff, hopefully. To come there. Right, we'll go down the yard and we'll see if my livestock have been washed away or not. So the thing I was going to do this morning was I was going to do a bit of chainsaw stuff. We've got some elm trees, some of them are mine, some of them are my neighbours, and uh, quite a large branch off of a neighbour's ash tree have come down in the last, well, in the last few days, and the last few weeks, across my fences. They need moving. And it was a case of, oh, I could do something with, you know, do a bit of chainsaw sharpening, a bit of setting up, blah, 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 stuff like that, and then we can go and do, um, go and cut some trees, because I know some of you like stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, the idea was put the saw on the quad bike, go around, little trailer, cut it up, bring it back up in the little trailer so it don't make a mess. But literally, we've had so much rain, even the quad bike out there is gonna make a blinking mess. So I've binned that idea for a minute. <sighs> yeah, you need a clean out, didn't you? And you pulled that back through there. Right, okay. All right for food. I think everybody's all right for food, but I think with the wet, actually you're not too bad. I can live with that, that's okay for the minute. I think it's just gonna be the young stock. They're a yard once, once doing. They're all wet. They're dry on the bed. Okay, well, there's nothing, nothing desperate. All these jobs, will need doing, but yeah, nothing urgent. So we're going to pull that bit of bag out of there. Either the wind's taken it in and they've pulled it the rest of the way, or someone's managed to catch hold of it and pull it in. So, and they play with it for a bit, then they get bored of it once they've chewed it and crapped all over it. So, yeah. So we might still do a little bit of the chainsaw stuff, although the guys, the last, day um, here, they, everything's put away clean and set and sharp, so there's probably not a lot I can do as far as chainsaw sharpening and setting up. Oh, look at it. Is concerned because it should be done. Ah! <sighs> Lovely. That needs to be sorted out as well. Oh. See, the, re the recycling people don't like it when it's covered in car car. Could push you up a little bit. I might, I might put the pallet forks on and get a bag and actually start putting some of that away. Something to do. I can't, I'm trying to find something different for you rather than just me in there pushing poo about. Because it isn't that exciting, is it? Right, so I think I got a bag in the shed here that's already park filled. Just don't know if I can get to it. I think it's up behind the digger. 
with it. Yeah. 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 I was sure there was a bag in here, already part filled. Yeah, that one. I do need to start a digger. I need to move the digger, so I need to move that, so. You'll understand why in a minute. Ah, oh, blooming rain. It's just, it's just non-stop. This is why it's called Ian's Grumpy Season. So, according to my family, I'm a right grumpy old git at the moment, so... Weather's not helping. Right, that could just stay there, charge the battery for a minute. Ah, uh, still enough room in there for a few more. Right, skid steer. Put you about there, I think. Like that. Okay. We need to go up a bit. So, for me, silage wrap is a bit like making a fine wine. There's a method, and there is a bit of madness. Is that all of it in here? You'll see.
curiosity killed the cow. Right, ready for this? First of all, we stuff the bag with as much as we can get in there, including the slightly mucky, nasty stuff. I do wonder what they do with this, because they say it's recycled, but is it recycled in a dirty grate incinerator? Because that wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Oh, you're mucky, you are. That better? Ah, gloves would be a good idea. So he says, so what does he do? He puts the gloves on after he's got mucky hands. I can hear someone shouting. I can only assume it's my missus back with grandchildren. Or something like that. Right, so no net, just black plastic in here. And there'll be a bit on it. So, I don't know anybody else wraps up their black plastic, but it's got to go somewhere. So, tidy. Is that all of it? A bit there. And a bit there. All I've got to do now is get in there. Right, push it down the sides. This is really just an exercise of pushing all the air out. Chucking it in there, nice and neat. Oh yeah. Now, I'm out of puff. Now the bag's only half full again. <sighs> Easy as that. Right, that's made a bit of space. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but to the best of my knowledge, there is nowhere in the UK currently that recycles that. And I think part of the problem with that is because of the amount of this that's in it. Now, I know, I think it was last year, a fellow YouTuber, can't remember which one, went to a solidage net, hay net recycling facility somewhere abroad, don't know if it was in the Netherlands or Germany or somewhere up the other side of the channel that does recycle this stuff and he was encouraging us to recycle it. But is there somewhere that actually recycles that? Because to the best of my knowledge, if I send that off for recycling away from here, which I have done in the past, I sent it off is it recycled into heat energy? Because that's what I think happens to this. In this country, I believe that's incinerated 
in an all singing, all dancing Carlos Fandango incinerator with no emissions and no fumes and blah, 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 eco-friendly, all that sort of stuff, and incinerate it to produce energy, which is recycling, sort of. So, yeah, so if I'm wrong, let me know. And if you know somewhere that will take that as recycling and actually recycle it, not burn it, I'd be dead interested to know. Right, I think there is, is a couple, there's a couple of bags over there. So we'll go and get them. Digger can go back in, the, back in the bar in a minute. We'll go and get them. I'm gonna then either drop this bag over there or I'm gonna put it in the space I've just made over there. Because most of the time it's gonna come in here and literally all I've got to do, when this bag is full and I can't tread it down any longer, I then get a bit of baler string and just tie the loops together. So basically, basically I turn it into a bale. And then people come in and take it away. They'll either charge me by the bag, which is what happened last time, they charged me by the bag, or they charge me by the weight. So the only thing is, is how do they know what that weighs? Because the other guy that charged me by the weight loaded that with my Mustang. And there's no, there's no weigher on this. I reckon they guess and then add a percentage just in case. be good just in case it does go for recycling I get as much of the hay and the dirt out of it as I can so this is why we put our wrap indoors I don't store it outside if you store it outside it just gets full of water and rubbish and basically becomes uh, they can recycle the plastic they can't recycle the dirt so how do they wash the dirt out of it without using a flame Okay, so the stuff we've used on the floors, I'll bag separately when all this has gone out of here. I'll bag it up separately because we will then tell the recycling company that that's dirty. That's clean. Ish. That's dirty. So, now I'll ask them, does it go to the same place? Because I have my doubts. Um, I can go over there. Okay, pallet for us to come off. But we'll put them back behind the digger where they came from. So we'll put that away first. Sure we're getting one of them bells out of there, but that'll be all right.
just in case any of you are wondering, after the 75 mile an hour winds of Storm Garrett, it's still on. It didn't blow off. Right, food waste has been, and they've had their bag. Looks like, no, these guys haven't had theirs, so we were too late for Christmas, so every year we give them a little treat. Um, yeah, hopefully they spot that. Hopefully. In fact, do I leave that open? I want them to see it. I'll leave it open. Look at that. Big shiny thing in the sky. Still too blinking wet to do anything useful. Although I have just been onto my Instagram account and the video that I made, ooh, probably best, nearly a week ago, I think, was it a week ago, uh, reminded me that I hadn't actually done something. I've got something to do. If you follow my Instagram, yeah, it's still there. Then you may, you may know what I'm up to. And I can bring that back on the way. Hopefully the guys spotted the cans we left for them. Anyway, as I was saying, if you follow my Instagram, you probably know what I'm going up here for. I'm going up to fetch something. Look at the state of it. This is pigeon mead. And my new grass lay, which is a bit more like, I don't know, maybe perhaps we should have planted rice instead. So, I mean, it's, it's, it can still come right, I hope. Some dry, warm weather might get that going. We'll have a look at it on the way up to pick up the thing we've come for up there in the hedge. So like I said, if you follow my Instagram, you probably know what I'm coming up here for. It was a blue number six or number nine, whichever way you want to hold it, I suppose, floating across the farm, drifted across the road. I caught it on my phone, which is why it was on Instagram, not on here. And I did say that, you know, <coughs> it's one of those things that will irritate farmers, particularly livestock farmers. Beyond belief, to be honest, it's a, uh, you know, you buy these things for your kids and aren't they lovely? It's like the Chinese lanterns and that, you know, you bring them, you, the lanterns you like, you let go, aren't they lovely? As soon as you can't see them, somebody else's problem. Kind of the same with this, party bloom, helium, filled with helium, you know, you go and spend a couple of quid on it. You take it home, you give it to the kid, they go lovely. They let go of it, it drifts off. No longer your problem. But it can be ours because cattle will chew these things. And although it's not likely they'll ingest it, they can. And on a ruminant, that's bad. Here we are our pretty shiny little number six or number nine which I do not want in my hedge or in my bales so your party balloon is my rubbish now I own it you gave it to me I didn't want it but you gave it to me. If you buy these things, surely you should get rid of them. Not my job. There's no way I'm walking out there. I'd like to have had a little wander out there and just see if the clover's coming up. I mean, buttercup, that might be a bit of clover. Grasses. wet rice that's what we should have planted bloody rice there's an awful I don't know if you can see them really well because the heavy rain has pretty much 
wash them all out, but there's a lot of deer tracks up and down here. A lot of deer tracks. They're about. Right, that's me little blue, number six, number nine, party balloon, put where it should have been put in the first place, in the bin. Uh, and we're back down here and we're gonna just go through the three sheds again, make sure everything's okay. Um, might be giving them youngsters a bit of a fresh bed because that was looking a little bit, yeah, a bit mucky in there. Now, do I dig that out or do I just put a bit on top? I reckon we can probably get away with just a bit on top for today. Um, the cows, they look okay, actually. We refreshed that yesterday. I think that's gonna last another day. And these guys in here should also last another day. Although, that has been that, that wet. Yeah, it's okay in there. Like I say, it looks worse than it is because it's dark. But they've got plenty of grub for a minute. They've got plenty of grub. Yeah. Right. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Oh, no, it's already collapsing. Oh, no. Hold it together, Ian. Hold it together. Don't panic. Don't panic. No, you stay there. On over the top. And you. Bit at a time, I think. It'd probably be easier to shut everybody out and do this with skid steer, but there's no rush. My you back. I know, it would have been easier to, to shut them out, shut these out, put the skid steer ring, but you know what? I haven't really got anything better to do, so. And this is more eco-friendly. I'm burning off my calories rather than dinosaur juice. Right, I gotta chuck that about, so you need to get in the way. Out of the way! Get out of the way! So I don't want to bend down while I'm in a range of ooves. I kind of like my teeth in my head where they belong. Go on, you. Arr, troublemaker. That'll keep him clean for another night, wouldn't it? That's that as well. Right. What can we do now? Got my watch working again. It is almost three o'clock. Darker than ever. See, I want to go down and cut those bits of tree up that are overhanging the fence. But I know if I do it, it's going to make a mess. I also know I haven't got enough time to do all of it. So I'm going to leave that till another day. Um, yeah. I'm sure most of you know exactly how to set up a chainsaw, the do's and don'ts, the good bits, the bad bits, the dangerous end, the safe, less dangerous end. So, uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd do something with chainsaws, being as I got a reasonable amount of, you know, formal qualifications of that, uh, I could share some wisdom with you, shall we say. How not to cut your leg off. Yeah, or anything else, or anybody else's. So what made me think of doing the chainsaw stuff? Well, you can blame Farmer Phil and his dad, Father Phil, because they are damn good beef farmers. And what they don't know about slurry and stuff like that, ain't worth not knowing. But uh, as far as chainsaw work's concerned, yeah, 
I can probably probably give you a bit of guidance on a few things. I mean, not that I did anything wrong. You know, health and safety probably have a fit on some of it, but you know, that's health and safety's job. That's what they do. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, that's dangerous. Nobody got hurt, okay? And they looked like they quite enjoyed a bit of family time together, cutting stuff up with a chainsaw. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, before I was qualified and had all my former qualifications, I was using a chainsaw. I never cut my leg off. So, so I'm in no way criticizing or pointing the finger or anything at anybody, but it was watching their video of cutting their trees out in their garden that made me think, I can do something along those lines. And I'm not gonna call it a tutorial or a do's or don'ts or whatever else, but um, may maybe I can just give a few folks who aren't dead sure a few pointers on, yeah, how not to hurt yourself. Easiest thing of doing that get someone else to do it that's the best way anyway I'm I'm not going out there not even on the quad there's no point because I was gonna take the quad in the little trailer we've got some stuff down there to pick up the guys have already cut up we've got two elms down in the bottom field and an ash branch in the bottom left hand field all need cutting up getting off the fence and just sorting out but um, I don't really want to just chuck it in the hedge I mean the wood is wood I've got a log burner, but um, yeah, it's not desperate, it's not urgent, and it's not worth making a mess out there. Any more mess than I've already, I've already made enough mess. Yeah, no more mess. All right, guys have kicked their bait over here, so we're just gonna push it back again. I'll do it. That'll do it. 